uh, let me just get an audio check. Can everyone hear me loud and clear? All right, good, 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 good. So anyway, I want to bring on the next presenter. Um, first of all, thanks everybody for sticking around and hopefully you've been enjoying it. A lot of great presenters today. Uh, but I want to introduce my uh, next good friend, Andrew Keene. Now, Andrew Keene, for some of you um, who don't know him or do know him, um, is, one of, is a, one of the great contributors um, in the trading community now, he's been he's been a he's been a, a floor trader at the CBOE for a while, and you know what he wanted to take his knowledge and share with everybody. Uh, he does some very similar to what I do. He also, he runs a professional trading room himself on options. Hands down, I mean, probably one of the best options traders that I've seen uh, in the industry. Where because there's not too many people that will actually trade with you. There's only I would say. There's probably about maybe less than five people in the whole trading community in this world, and there are hundreds and hundreds of schools out there. But I would say there's only five that actually would trade with you, um, and you just met two of them, <laughs> which is me and Andrew, um, where we run a, a more of an active trading room and also uh, and educate you how to do it. So because the two best ways of learning how to trade, ladies and gentlemen, is that. You just can't take a course and think you're going to learn. You need a course and a trading room. And, um, and that's why I like you know, Andrew coming on all the time because he has the same mentality, uh, psychology, and attitude and aggressiveness as I do. And that's why I love, um, I love meeting with him all the time. Him and his staff are on a great, great operation there. And uh, his traders do phenomenal. So, and there's no one, like I said, better than, uh, better than him that he can answer it. So, uh, don't want to take too much time away from Andrew. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, this is all being recorded for your listening pleasure. Everybody can go back and review it. I know it's a lot of content for five days, but you know what? Best way to answer your questions and then uh, go back to review it as much as you can. So without further ado, I want to pass it over to Andrew. Andrew, thank you very much for being here. And everyone, enjoy the rest of uh, the trading spectacular. Uh, thanks, Fosto. If everybody can hear me, and then I'm going to... I'm going to use just screen share here. That's cool with everybody. So you guys can hear me and see my screen here in about 10 seconds. I use uh, Amnovia every single day, so I'm very familiar with Amnovia. I'm going to start my recording here. I'm going to have to turn off my music. What's up? How's everybody doing today? Um, if everybody can hear me and see my screen, it says the best technical indicator in the world. Uh, I'll be your presenter today for the next hour. Uh, my name is Andrew Keen. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar. If you're not familiar, then I will uh, get to know you. Yeah, I do trade a lot of unusual option activity. Um, you know, throughout the course of the presentation, uh, I multitask while I multitask. Uh, I'm pretty much glorified being insane. Um, but, you know, so if you guys have any questions throughout the presentation, feel free to ask any questions you want. Uh, like Fosso said, I mean, I am a... Uh, I consider myself a very large trader. Uh, I trade equity options. I would say I'm probably one of the biggest independent traders for options in the world, maybe. Um, I can trade on a busy day about 3,000 options on a slow day, maybe 500. Um, here's my P&L for the year. Um, so this year has been one of my roughest years in a while. Uh, I've traded for 14 years professionally every single day. and uh, I'm up money 13 or 14 years. I haven't had a losing year since 2009. So this is a real-time account. You can see the time right here and the date. Um, so this is my trading account, up about 50 grand. I was up about 300 earlier this year, and then I was down about 150. Um, now I'm up about 50 grand. I have about 300,000 in there. Um, so these are all the posi positions I still have left. Um, so I do take positions overnight. I day trade. I swing trade. I kind of do a little bit of everything. I trade. My big things I trade is unusual option activity and the Ichimoku cloud, and this is thick or swim. Um, but glad I've gotten into profitability. Like I said, guys, I have, haven't lost money in the last six years, and I'm here to teach you the best technical indicator in the world. Um, past performance is not indicative of future results. <clears throat> Little risk disclaimer, unfortunately, we have to put this in every single webinar. Day trading, short-term trading, option trading, and future trading are extremely risky. They generally are not appropriate for someone with little capital. Little to no trading experience and low tolerance of risk. Never execute a trade unless you're willing to floor your entire investment. All trading operations involve serious risk and you can lose your entire investment. We said that. No trades are recommendations or advice and we cannot be sued for losses of capital. All trades are educational purposes only. Contact your broker, your registered investment advisor for execution, margin, and other capital requirement. 
everybody watching today's presentation adheres to all risk disclaimers on www.optionhacker.com and www.alphashark.com. So basically, in the nutshell, I'm not a registered investment advisor. So this capital that I trade with is 100% my own money. This is you know money that I've made throughout it. Okay, if I had to liquidate my account, there's a $336,708.18 in my account. Okay, then it shows me um, my P&L for the year, which is up about 50,000, and then it says how much this is cash on the sidelines under this. Okay, so I do not trade with anybody else's capital. I trade with my own account every single day. Um, you know, a couple interesting interesting, I, I hear Fausto uh, talking, and uh, for the first time ever, I've been, I, I, my name was mentioned in the same sentence as Fausto and the President of the United States of America. I, I'm going to write this the date down. That was quite amazing. I thought that was pretty cool. And number two, <clears throat> as Fausto says, you know, it's one thing to teach education, but putting your money where your mouth is on a day-to-day -day basis, um, the reason that, you know, particularly I, you know, educate is because I want to back my results up. It's like a professional athlete. Like you get to the next level and then you want to prove yourself to the world. So this is why I show my profit and loss. When I was down 160000 this year, I showed all my traders. Okay? I'm saying, hey, guys, this is a rough year. This has been a really hard, hard year for me. Um, I've been on fire lately. I'm up about 160 grand, I think, in the last six weeks. But this has been a really hard year trading. Um, if anybody ever said trading is easy, it's not. Trading is very, very challenging to make money, but this is why you guys took time out of your day. For the next hour of the day, um, just remember the, word, the number 90, and I'll get you to the reason number 90 is going to be important. So this is me. Um, you know, pretty smart kid. Uh, yeah, I mean, Pete, I was only up 50000 but I probably swing about $20,000 a day. So I swing, I could swing 100000 in a week. So it's been, I've had a half a million dollar swing this year from up three hundred to down 150. Um, so this is here, me in the middle. Uh, I went to University of Illinois uh, in uh, 2001. I graduated. This is actually not me on the right. Um, you know, I'm a pretty smart kid, I think. Uh, but you know, I never wrote any coding. I never wrote some algorithms. Uh, I got the opportunity to trade uh, back in 2000. Uh, in uh, 2002, uh, I was backed by the uh, CBOE's pres uh, CEO of the CBOE. His name is Ed Tilly. So me and Ed Tilly are very good friends. He's the uh, CEO of the CBO. He personally backed me with his own capital. He only backed three traders in his life with his own capital that he knew he trusted that could make money. Um, and then he, then he went away. And I started trading. I opened my company about four years ago. Um, I was a market maker at the Chicago Board Options Exchange um, for a decade. And uh, you know the trading that I do, I, just because I trade on a bigger level doesn't mean it's not for a beginner. My trading is for a beginner intermediate and expert. We talk about stop losses. We talk about pro, uh, targets. And we're going to talk about that in the trading plan about the Ichimoku cloud today. So, you know, I went to Illinois. Um, I understood supply demand curve. You know, a lot of the presentations and presenters always talk about the same thing. And uh, one of them is supply demand curve. And uh, I used to do baseball cards at comic book shows. And uh, that's how I learned supply demand curve. Uh, no, that's not a <laughs> That's funny, though. Now I live in... In beautiful San Diego, I'm at in San Diego right now. I my place looks over the, the uh, bay and the ocean. I trade from my computer at home. I have a Falcon computer, and I have four monitors in Chicago. I had eight monitors, and to be honest, eight monitors is just a little too much. Uh, this is the car that I bought myself with my profits trading. Um, I'm sure you guys have probably seen me on CNBC. I am on CNBC three days a week. I do a show with my good friend Todd, Todd Gordon on Wednesdays. And then usually every Monday and Friday, I shoot a video for them, a trade of the day video. Um, you can always go to CNBC and type in my last name. Uh, this is my last name here. And you can see all my videos. Uh, and I trade from uh, San Diego. I'm a regular guest on CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, being in Canada. Uh, I was a floor trader for 10 years. Um, the transition was really hard for me, to be completely honest. Um, when I left the trading floor, I thought I could trade at a computer upstairs. And it was really, really challenging. Um, but you know, the more I got into it, the more I started feeling better. Um, I launched my trading room about four years ago. Uh, we are the second biggest paid all-day audio and visual trading room in the world, which I'm really proud of. Um, and uh, you know, when I started joint, doing the trading room, I just did it for fun. And then I started trading better through my trading room. Our trading room and our community is an active community. Uh, we have about 500 people for the trading room and I'm close to 1,000 subscribers total. We'll talk about that later on. So. 
you know, I get a lot of questions. People are always asking me stuff. Uh, I get emails. I probably get about two to three hundred emails a day. Um, you know, subscribers, people that follow me on Twitter, people that follow me on Instagram, um, and they have always have questions. You know, what are the most common questions that uh, you know I get? Number one, where's Apple going? I feel like that's always the question I get. Where is Apple going? Number two, <clears throat> what is the best position you have on? Okay, so this is another question I get. Oh, AK, you know, what's the best trade you think you have on? And number three, um, does it make sense to counter trend trade? Okay, counter trend trading, from my point of view, is one of the hardest things out there. Okay, I think counter trend trading is one of the hardest things out there. Um, so I try not to counter trend trade. Um, there are times when counter trend trading is good and can be profitable, but the main reason uh, that traders lose money is because they're trading against the trend. Um, you know, Boss was a stock guy. I'm an option guy. Okay, um, it doesn't matter what you trade, but you know we believe in following the trend. Uh, everything in this world is a supply demand curve between buyers and sellers. Uh, I own a house in a condo in Chicago. Um, let's say my I think my condo is worth five hundred thousand dollars, hypothetically speaking. And if I put my condo on the market for five hundred thousand dollars, and the highest bid is four hundred thousand dollars, is my condo really worth five hundred thousand? Well, no, it's worth 400000 because the market just told me it is, okay? If someone comes in and tries to buy for 500 and then someone buys, tries to buy for 525 and then 550 well, my condo's worth more, right? So there is always in trading, you know, there's, they always say there's uh, buyers and sellers. For every buyer, there's a seller. That's 100% absolutely true. But more aggressive sellers pushes the price down, just like a housing market. Uh, more aggressive buyers pushes the price up. So anything in this world is just worth the difference of a supply-demand curve. So trading, guys, in the short term is just supply-demand curve. If you guys can master that, if you can take the ticker off of your chart and not worry about so much what you're trading, but which way is the stock going, you're going to make a lot more money, right? So it shouldn't matter if you're trading Apple, GoPro. Um, you know, Foster used a couple examples of... Uh, I forgot which ones they were on the one minute bar. Um, but like Mobileye, it doesn't matter what you're trading. Just figure out if there's more buyers or sellers and you can make money in this market. So uh, I do a lot of analogies when I'm trading and uh, all my analogies are unique and I create them all myself because um, you know I trade, I've been trading every single day for 14 years. Okay? Um, I consider myself in an equity option world, I consider myself a top five expert in equity options and probably top five biggest independent trader in equity options um, You know, from someone who's on a retail account. So I have a lot of analogies and I always come up with new analogies. So we have a picture here and uh, there's three people on this picture. If you guys are into sports, you probably will get this. If you're not into sports, um, maybe you won't get it. And make, make sure you guys can stick around till the end because at the end, we're going to give $1,000 worth of courses for free. So you see a picture here. Um, if you guys don't know who these people are, I'm going to tell you. The first one is Brett Favre. The second one is Tom Brady. And the third one is Aaron Rodgers. Okay. So what do they have in common? Well, number one, um, they're all in the NFL. Yeah, obviously. Number two, they're all quarterbacks. Good. Uh, number three, they've all won Super Bowls, right? They've all won Super Bowls. Brady, I think, has five. Favre has two, and Rodgers has one, okay? So that's the easier thing, okay? But the underlying meaning of what these all have is what do these guys have in common, okay? What they had in common was when they came into the NFL, none of them were starters, okay? Uh, Bledsoe, I mean, uh, Tom Brady backed up Drew Bledsoe when he was in the league. So these quarterbacks that all won Super Bowls, and they won eight Super Bowls of, among the three of them, all came in the league on the bench. Okay? Uh, Brady blocked, uh, backed up Bledsoe. Uh, Favre backed up Mikowski. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers backed up Favre. Okay? And that's how I was. I didn't come in and start trading. Okay? It's virtually impossible to come in, start trading right off the bat, and consistently make money. Just like an NFL quarterback, it's almost impossible for a, for a quarterback to come in as a rookie, start starting, and make money. Okay, I mean, play well. Look at Johnny Manziel. Look at uh, Matthew Leinart. Okay, so you guys got to understand, man, there's a playbook. Okay, so what we're going to try to teach teach you guys is there's a monster playbook that you're going to have to learn. Okay, if you think you're going to come in and just start making money right off the bat, 
you know, maybe you can in the short term, but you got to have a playbook. You have to read it, okay? All those great quarterbacks started on the bench. They learned, okay, before they got their opportunity to play in the big games. So the word nine, the number 90 we talked about, all traders lose money. And that's actually a fact. The average time span of a trader is, uh, you know, anywhere between uh, a month to, you know, uh, a year and a half. There are close to 400 people here today. That would mean only 40 of you guys are going to make money. Well, what are the reasons that most traders lose money? Well, from my point of view, most traders lose money for three reasons. Number one, okay, they are not defining risk versus reward setups. If someone came to me, and uh, it's funny that Hafasa said something about Goldman Sachs because Goldman Sachs was my clearing firm for eight years. Um, but if someone came to me and said that, uh, AK, I want to trade that I make money 95% of the time. And I said, that'd be easy. I could easily come up with a strategy where you make money 95% of the time. I can't guarantee profitability because I would just sell a $1 call spread for one penny. Or what about if you're buying stock and trying to make one penny, but you're risking a dollar? So number one reason that most traders lose money is poor risk to reward setups. Number two, okay, trading is like relationships. They take a lot of time and work, okay? Every day is different. You guys got to be able to be patient, okay? Forcing bad trades. And number three, not having a mentor, okay? Tom Brady had Drew Bledsoe. Brad Favre had Mikowski. Aaron Rodgers had Brett Favre. You know, I was on a panel with Fosso about I think about four years ago in Vegas. And, you know, we all, we, me and Fossil think a lot alike. And we said the same thing over and over. You know, find a mentor. Find someone that you really, really like and enjoy and learn from them, okay? Fossil has been trading a lot longer than me. I've been trading for 14 years. I think he's been trading for 20 plus. And, you know, maybe you like my trading style. You know, I'm a very aggressive trader. I trade a lot. Um, I'm in and out of positions very, very quickly. He has a different trading style. So just find a mentor that works for you and comforts for you and follow them, okay? You have to be willing to invest in your education. That is a huge, huge key. When, you know, it's like someone that's saying, hey, I'm going to get in, I'm going to, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. I'll lose 20 pounds, then I'll start going to the gym. That's not how it works, okay? You have to go to the gym to lose the 20 pounds. You need to find a mentor and someone who's been in this game for a very long time if you wanted to take your profitability to the next level. There is a reason that there's almost 400 people here today. The reason for that, we're all trying to make more money. Okay? This isn't a webinar of how we're going to save the manatees. This is a webinar of how to make money trading. Okay? So just be willing to invest in your education. Find a mentor that you like for you. So every beginner begins with a learning curve. So today I'm here to teach you what is known as the Ichimoku Cloud. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers uh, trade through Thinkorswim, so I'm going to teach you guys here how to set it up really, really quickly. Let me remove it. So this is Thinkorswim. Okay, we have a chart here, and what I do for Thinkorswim is I can just click this little, uh, it's like a measuring cup. I click this measuring cup. I go to the left. I double click, click Ichimoku. I hit apply and okay. See, that's all it takes, guys. So now I have the Ichimoku cloud on here. Okay. So all I had to do is hit the measuring glass, go to the left, double click Ichimoku, and then the Ichimoku cloud on here. I don't like these color settings, so I change my color settings. So what I do here is I double click anywhere on the cloud itself, and then I see all the settings here. And we're going to go through the definitions of all these. You don't have to measure. Um, the def you don't have to memorize the, de uh, the definitions. I have because it's important to me. But you don't have to. So let's go. And I like to make everything thick. So five. Tank and sign I like to make red. Cajun, five. Green. And spawn A, five. And we're going to go over exactly what these are. Then we're going to teach you guys a trading plan. So you're going to leave here with some value add. And then Kanku is five and blue. If I don't hit apply, okay, it will not apply. So make sure that you hit apply. Okay, this is think or swim. Okay. But the Ichimoku Cloud is available on almost every single platform. When I started teaching the Ichimoku Cloud, it was only available on TradeStation and Thinkorswim. Um, the Nigerians read my book where I talked about the Ichimoku Cloud, 
and they said to their programmers, why do we not have this thing? <laughs> so they added it to Trade Monster. I know Interactive Brokers has it now. So it is 100% free. So this is the Ichimoku Cloud here. I'm going to teach you guys how to look at the cloud. Um, there's basically four ways to use the cloud. There's a couple reasons why I like the cloud, and we're going to go over that. But let me talk about here, what is the Ichimoku Cloud? So the Ichimoku Cloud, okay, I discovered it in 2006. Um, as a trader, I have blown out my trading account twice in my life. Um, unfortunately, I lost close to a half a million dollars in a company called AMAG, a pharmaceutical company. I still to this day do not know what they do, um, but I lost a lot of money in that. I blew out my trading account. Uh, basically, I started trading. Every year, I made more money than the year before. And then in 2000, I think it was six, I lost a lot of money in AMAG, about 494000 um, I went to Thailand, and uh, I taught English in a Buddhist monastery, tried to clear my head, figure it out, you know, what's the next plan for me? Okay, what do I want to do with my life? Uh, I took the, the last $50,000 I had to my name, and I said, you know what, I can make money trading. I made a mistake. I was stubborn. I thought I was smarter than the person trading against me, um, which is probably a Goldman Sachs. Um, but I learned from my mistakes, and I know I can make money. So I took that $50,000 and turned it into probably close to $5.5 million trading. So the Ichimoku Cloud is a technical analysis method that uses the past, present, and future to help traders identify at a single glance if a security is bullish or bearish. We'll have time at the end where I'll go over charts if you guys want, and I can tell you, you know, um, basically almost buy, sell, or hold, or where I'd get, look to get long and where I'd put stop losses. Ichimoku Kinken Hoi actually translates to one glance equilibrium bar chart. Okay? So the translation from Japanese to English, I actually have the original Japanese book uh, in my apartment. Uh, I got it translated because it was important to me uh, to understand the Ichimoku Cloud much better. The cloud is made up of six key components. Each of these we're going to examine today. When combined, these components construct the Ichimoku Cloud. Okay, 90% of all traders in the United States lose money. We talked about that number. Engrave that number to the back of your head. Okay, 90% of all traders lose money. When I went to Asia, and I actually just came back from Asia again. I was in Vietnam and Bali. Uh, when I went to Asia, they taught me this. I met a group of traders. They taught me the Ichimoku Cloud. I studied it, found every single piece of research out there on it. Um, I know Hubert Centers is actually one of my mentors. He has a great course on the Ichimoku Cloud. We constantly debate who has a better course. Um, but you know, it is the hottest topic right now. And the reason for that is because traders have realized that what you're normally using for your trading methodology does not work. Simple moving averages do not work. The golden cross where the 50 breaks to 200, the 20, the 50. We've looked at historical data of a lot of these things that I thought would make sense in trading, and none of them were profitable. Golden crosses do not work. Uh, what, three white soldiers, if you're familiar with that one, that does not work. Bollinger bands do not. And we have the historical data that has showed us this. I use one piece of technical indicator when I'm trading, and that is the Ichimoku cloud. That is basically it. I do combine it a little bit with candlesticks, but that is basically it. So trading the cloud, we're going to talk about what the cloud is the different components of the cloud, how to use the cloud as support and resistance, and the cloud and the trend. And I use it in the option market. You know, you can use it for anything you want, but I do use it in the option market. So here's a simple chart, and this is Alibaba. <coughs> so Alibaba here, uh, we see Baba on the daily, and this was just taken a couple days ago. So right here, Baba is, the first thing I look at, is it below, in, or above the cloud? Okay, so this, all this area here, guys, in BABA, okay, as a beginner intermediate trader, there is no short setups, okay, because it is above the cloud. So the first thing I always look at, is it below or above the cloud, okay? There's four ways to trade any stock. Breakout trading, aggressive pullback trading, moderate pullback trading, or counter trend trading. This is on the daily chart. There's only four ways. Okay. These are the standard settings in the Ichimoku Cloud, 926.52. So Baba here is above the cloud. We're going to look at it a little bit more deeply. Okay. The buy signal in Baba actually would have been right here. Okay. And we'll show you an example in Cree where you could have bought it as a swing trade 
at around 83.60. Stop would have been about, sorry, 83.60, yeah. And then stop would have been underneath. Sorry, this is uh, is this a, this is a five minute bar. So uh, this is a five minute bar. Uh, and then you see here, right there, okay. Could have bought it there with a stop under the cloud and then you would have had all that profit to the upside, okay. So one of the big mistakes we talk about here is counter trend trading. So in theory, Baba is not a short anywhere here because it's above the cloud. So the first thing I always look at is it above, in, or below the cloud. So we're going to look at the six components of the cloud. We're going to combine them all together, and we're going to come up with a trading plan for anybody, okay? I teach a lot of different topics. I was going through our, uh, our education yesterday. We have 12 different eight-hour courses, okay? Um, and some of them, unfortunately, are only geared to option trading. Uh, trading unusual option activity is only for option traders. You can't trade it for Forex or futures. Uh, trading earnings, that's one of my big courses. Uh, that is only available for options. You can't trade that as well for futures or Forex. The Ichimoku Cloud is hands down, number one, the best indicator in the world. If I came in here and I could sell you the Ichimoku Cloud, I would. The problem is it's 100% free. Okay, so you guys can download it for free. I want to teach you how to use the cloud okay, for any kind of trader. So number one, I love it because it's 100% free. Number two, it works for any single product out there. Whatever you guys trade, you can use the Ichimoku Cloud for. You just have to make the right time settings. And number three, it works on multi. You can use it to day trade or to swing trade. So let's talk about the key components here of the cloud. We have the Tankin sign, the Cajun sign, Senko Spawn A, Senko Spawn B, Kimo, and then the Kenku. And we're going to go over all these definitions for you. So here's a simple here. This is Baba on the five. Um, we're going to look at anything. We're, I'm going to give you all the definitions. So if you want to memorize, you can. You know, most importantly, what I say to myself is current price action above or below the cloud. So we see current price actions above the cloud. It means it's only along. It keeps a lot of traders away from really bad trades. Then I say, how does the future cloud look? We see the future is pointed up and out. That is bullish. And then how does the price action right here compare to the price action 26 periods ago? Uh, it works great for Forex. It actually works best for Forex. So it works great for Forex. But you've got to match up the time frame, guys. It works best for Forex on a four-hour bar. Okay? It works best for Forex on a four-hour bar. So definitions, okay, and I just wanted to pull up really quick to see how the Euro um, USD. I had a I had a monster trade in Euro USD. So let's see Euro USD. Let's put it on the four hour. I'm I consider myself a breakout trader. So I would I like to trade breakouts. So breakout trader here in the Euro USD. If you are trading the Euro USD on a four hour bar. Simple and easy, guys. Broke above the cloud here, okay? So you could have bought it there at 108, about 30. The stop loss would have been about 105.30. You would have bought it at 108.30. Your stop loss would be under the cloud. And you see, uh, you would have had profit targets here, and you would have had profit targets here. So that's just one example that I didn't even know. It wasn't one of my examples for you guys to talk about. But Euro USD, a breakout of the cloud, on the Euro USD, on the four hour bar. So Forex works best on a four hour bar. So we have the first thing, which is the Tenkin sign, okay? A lot of traders use 10 period moving averages. Unfortunately, like I said, guys, okay, you guys are here today for one reason, okay? The one reason everybody here today is to make money trading, period, simple, that's it, okay? Our goal as traders is to make the most amount of money possible, that's it. And I'm trying to simplify it for you and demystify how possibly I could make money. Okay? So we see here, um, this is the Tankin sign. The Tankin sign is consisted of the highest high plus the lowest low over the last nine periods divided by two. So if you're looking at it on a five-minute bar, it'd be nine five-minute bars. If you're looking at it on a daily chart, it would be nine daily charts. So this is the highest high plus the lowest low divided by two. And this is very similar to a 10-day 10, 10 average. 
The reason this works better, because the highest high shows us where the sellers came in, in the market. The lowest low shows us where the buyers come in, in the market. So Ichimoku actually has a built-in 50% Fibonacci retracement in here. Okay? And this is considered the short-term trend. Like I said, guys, if we have time at the end, I would love to look at some examples. I do only have an hour today. I could probably present this for three hours. So highest high plus lowest low over the last nine periods divided by two. Then we have the Cajun sign. Cajun sign is a longer term moving average. Um, this is the highest high plus the lowest low over the last 26 periods divided by two. And you say to yourself, AK, what are the, all these crazy numbers? Nine, 26. Ichimoku was based on the Japanese calendar. Okay? It was back when a rice trader made money for 62 straight days or something crazy like that. And then he realized the Japanese calendar is based on six trading days a week. So the short-term trend was based on one and a half week of data. For the longer-term trend, there used to be 26 trading days in a month. Now there's only 22. Um, so that longer-term trend is that 26. So it's not random numbers. Um, it has been back-tested to change it to 8 and 22. I have read it doesn't work. I've never looked at the historical data myself, but I just sit to the, stick to the default setting of 9 and 26. Uh, we'll talk about how the Ichimoku tells the direction of the stock as well. So it's take the spot A, and this is how the cloud is constructed. The cloud is constructed by adding the tank and sign and the Cajun sign, divided by 2, and moving it 26 periods in the future. Okay. So today's, the cloud in the future is consistent of today. Just like any relationship you have in life, think of a relationship you have. Maybe your significant other, maybe a friend, maybe a brother, maybe a mom, maybe a dad. You want to say three things to yourself. How was the relationship in the past? How is the relationship currently? And how do I see the relationship in the future? You cannot change the past. You cannot predict the future, but you can use them both to trade today, right? So looking at the past and predicting the future is what we want to do. I'm going to teach you one of the four setups. So there's four ways to trade it, okay? Like I said, 400 people here today, almost more than 400 people now, every single person in this room trades differently. They have different goals. They have different objectives. I can teach someone who is an aggressive pullback trader, how to be a breakout trader, but that's not who they are. Okay? Everybody here today is going to trade differently. Okay? Some people are willing want to make $200 in a day and only want to risk 50 bucks. Some people are trying to make 500. I'm trying to usually make 10 grand in a day. Okay? So everybody here is different. Okay? I can't change your risk tolerance and I can't change what kind of trader you are. There's four kinds of traders and I want you guys to kind of think to yourself, which best describes me? Am I a breakout trader? Am I a, an aggressive pullback trader? Am I a moderate pullback trader? Or am I a counter trend trader? You can't be anything besides that, okay? Trend is your friend. I personally am a breakout trader. That's how I trade best. So I trade breakouts. Sometimes I'll pull, be a moderate pullback trader. I mean, aggressive pullback trader. But usually I know I'm a breakout trader. So as you guys think to yourself, and maybe take out a pen and paper, write that down, okay? Write your goal of how much money you would like to make in a day. And also, write what kind of trader you are, okay? There's four types of trader. I know Fosto, just like me, he's a breakout trader. I'm a breakout trader. There's four kinds of traders. Breakout trader, aggressive pullback trader, and on the reverse way of the stock's going down, it'd be aggressive pullback seller, um, a moderate pullback buyer, or a counter trend trader. So just remember what you guys are as we go through this presentation. <clears throat> pullback trader is like a stock that hit, made a 52 week high and then you buy on a pullback. Or a stock that makes a 52 week low and you short it on a rally. Strong stocks usually get stronger, weak stocks usually get weaker. Second spot B is the uh, future long term trend. This is the highest high plus the lowest low over the last 52 periods divided by two. So this is a pretty simple one. This is how the cloud is constructed. So if you're so intrigued how the cloud is constructed, the cloud is constructed of the tank and sign plus the, plus the uh, Cajun sign plotted in the future. Also, it's constructed of the highest high and the lowest low over the last 52 periods divided by two, plotted again, once again, in the future. 
A uh, couple questions here, longer term. <clears throat> so chemo actually translates from Japanese to cloud. This shows me how hard or easy it is to break the trend. Okay, the thicker the cloud, okay, and we're going to look at some examples here. The thicker the cloud, the, the harder it is to break the trend. The thinner the cloud, the easier it is to break trend. You have a very, very thick cloud. You're going to have wider stops. Okay, for a beginner trader, I always tell everybody using stops is very, very important. <clears throat> then we have the Kangoo Spawn. Kangoo Spawn is today's price plotted uh, 26 periods ago. So today's price plotted 26 periods ago. That is known as the Kanku Spawn. And before we go forward here, I kind of want to just throw a couple stocks in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if you guys want to throw in about half a dozen stocks, just throw in a stock, Future, Forex, and we'll look at them on the Ichimoku Cloud. You just put in the Facebook. Okay. Let me put Facebook. Stocks work best on the daily chart. Let me put in Facebook. So Facebook here, the first thing I look at, is it above or below the cloud? Okay. It is above the cloud. So right now, Facebook is only a buy because it's above the cloud. Okay. Where would I buy Facebook? Okay. Well, a breakout trader could have bought the breakout in Facebook down here. This is where it broke the cloud to the upside. So if you were a breakout trader, you would have bought it here. Right now, a pullback trader could be buying Facebook here and your stop would be in the Ichimoku cloud. We'll talk about uh, setting stop losses and targets, but Facebook is a long, actually it was a long yesterday at 106.18 with a stop at about 96.18. So it would be a $10 stop because it's a thick cloud, but this is good for an aggressive pullback trader or a moderate pullback trader. Let's look at gold. Gold, it's under the cloud, is only a short, okay? So I say to myself, hey, gold is only a short right now. If I was an aggressive seller on rallies, I could have shorted it there. My stop would be above the green line. If I'm a moderate, not so aggressive, I would have short the green line with my stop in the cloud. So GLD gold is only a short. Okay? It is only a short. But the thinner, the easier it is to break trend. And I'll look at two more stocks here, and then we have to get back to our presentation. So Disney, so the first thing I say to myself, is it above or below the cloud? Okay. So is it above or below the cloud? Is it above, is it above the, it's above the cloud. Then I say to myself, what kind of trader am I? Okay. And if I was a, a breakout trader, I could have bought it over here and I would have been in it for huge, huge profits. Okay. If I'm in a, a pullback trader, I could be buying it here around 115 and my stop would be about 106. So I have to always define what kind of trader I am. I want to look at one currency pair before we move on. I'll look at Euro, Euro Aussie, and we'll go to it on the four-hour bar. And I'll teach you guys what it works best on. Okay? So this is Euro Aussie. So if I was a breakout trader, I would have bought the breakout right, right here as it breaks the cloud to the upside. Okay? Okay? It breaks the cloud to the upside. So I would have bought it there, and I would have put my stop under the cloud. So my break would have been here at uh, 1.4863, and I would have had about a uh, 200 pip stop, and I would have hit uh, two targets. So I'll show you guys how you can use your targets, okay, for any kind of trader. But I kind of just wanted to go over that and talk about pullback traders or breakout traders. So the first thing you always say to yourself, is it above or below the clock? Then say to yourself, what kind of trader am I? Am I a breakout trader? Am I an aggressive pullback trader? Am I a moderate pullback trader? Or am I a counter trend trader? So that's what you guys have to do. Okay. So why use the cloud? There's so many different reasons to use the Ichimoku cloud. One of the reasons I like to use the clouds is because, hey, it's 100% free. Everybody likes stuff in free. Uh, the brokers give you stuff for free, so you join their platform, right? So the Ichimoku Cloud is 100% free on any trading platform. Uh, you can nowadays get on anything. Two years ago, you couldn't get it anywhere, uh, but now it's 100% free, so that's one of my things. Number two, it looks at past, present, and future. Okay? So you can look at the past, the present, and the future. And number three, it works for any product possible, guys. 
whatever product you trade, whatever kind of trader you are, it works for you. If you're a day trader, it works best for the six stocks I personally like to trade that I trade every single day is Apple, Baba, GoPro, Tesla, Twitter on a five minute bar and I look for breakouts um, for a swing trading stocks on a daily chart for Forex, it works on a four hour bar. If you're day trading futures, it works best on a 12 minute bar. Um, if you're trading gold or oil day trading for a five minute bar. So if there's any product that you guys don't know, <clears throat> just you can shoot it in there and I can tell you which time frame you should be using it. You cannot be trading Apple on a, a 60 minute bar, okay? Apple moves fast, so you have to lower the time frame, okay? You can't be trading the S&P 500 futures on a one minute bar, okay? Uh, futures, it depends if you're day trading or swing trading. Depends if you're day trading or swing trading. FAS, I would trade on a five minute bar. And then it shows levels of support and resistance. So the trader for any kind of futures. Uh, equity options, if you're day trading, it works best on a five minute bar. If you're swing trading, a daily chart. Uh, daily chart is best for stocks. Four hour bar for Forex. Futures, S&P 500 futures works well on a daily chart as well. So there's basically you know, three time frames, okay? Just like I can't tell you what kind of trader you are, I can't tell you, you know, how much you wanna make on a day, you're either a day trader, a swing trader, or you're a long-term trader, okay? Long-term trader is six months out, okay? If you're looking at a position for six months and you don't care what it does in the next two months, even on earnings, you can look at the weekly chart and the uh, Ichimoku Cloud. So a day trader, okay, I have a lot of day traders out there, um, I've noticed in my subscribers, day trade, Apple, Baba, GoPro, Facebook, Tesla, Twitter. Those are the best six stocks, in my opinion, to trade okay, on a consistent basis. Yeah, it's possible to get some, you know, one off like a KBIO um, to trade it on a one minute bar or five minute bar, but consistently that I get signals in that I like to trade as a day trade, Apple, Baba, GoPro, Facebook, Tesla, Twitter. Those are the six stocks that I trade every single day as a day trader. Swing trader, I combine Ichimoku Cloud with unusual option activity, um, and I look for setups in that. Longer term trader, we talked about that. You can use a weekly chart. Uh, Forex, you know, matters how long. Uh, day trading, you know, you're not really going to look at a four hour bar. Uh, it's usually swing trading. Forex day trading is one of the hardest things to do. <laughs> I don't like to use tick charts. You know, uh, day trading on a five minute bar. I'll type in the stocks that I trade every single day, guys. Okay. Apple, Baba. Doesn't mean there's going to be a setup every day, but these are the six main stocks that I trade every single day. <coughs> so, well, usually when I have this up, and I can show you, I have, um, so as you can see here, I have Apple, Baba, Facebook, Tesla, GoPro, and Twitter on five minute bars, okay? That's what I day trade. Swing trade, I trade a lot of equity options, okay? Time frames, time frames are really, really important, okay? Let's talk about time frames, okay? So everybody says, you know, this is great information, but what time frames do I wanna use, okay? I will repeat it again. I day trade Apple, Baba, GoPro, Facebook, Tesla, Twitter. This is <coughs> the best selling course we have. Out of 12 courses, <coughs> we've sold more units on the Ichimoku Cloud than we've sold on any, any other course, okay? Because it works for every single trading plan. Everybody here today, you know, is basically whatever you trade, okay? It doesn't matter if you have $1,000 or $1 million or $10 million, okay? You can trade the Ichimoku Cloud immediately. When you learn the setups, learn what kind of trader you are, you can start trading immediately, okay? I'm a really, really fast driver on the, on the uh, highway. I know I'm going to get speeding tickets, okay? That's what I have to give up, okay? When you're trading the Ichimoku Cloud, what kind of trader you are? We talked about that. What's your time frame? You know, what's your goals, okay? And we're going to look at one example. We're going to show a risk versus reward setup in Cree. So if you guys have any questions about it, I'm going to have to speed up the pace a little bit. Um, this is a time frame for everything. Stocks works best on a daily chart. <coughs> Forex works best on a four hour bar. Oil and gold, five minute bar. Uh, treasury futures on a 12. 
So these are the four kind of traders you are. And I talked about this earlier. You can be a breakout trader, an aggressive pullback trader, a moderate pullback trader, or a counter trend trader. That's really all you can be. Okay? And you can, put, you can change the pullback. This is obviously to the long side. You would change the pullback to a short. Right? You could be in a, uh, an aggressive short seller if the stock rallies a little bit. Ah. Okay, here's an example of Cree. Uh, this is one of my bigger positions. I've made, I'm up about $7,000 in this one. Okay, what I notice here, Cree, what did it do? It broke the cloud to the upside. Okay, so we got a signal here. <clears throat> we got a signal on Cree. And Cree, ooh, I've never used that one before. Cree broke the cloud to the upside. Okay, right here. Okay, I'm a breakout trader. So I want to get long Cree right there. I combine it with unusual option activity. But if I wanted to trade stock, okay, where is my stop loss and where are my targets? Part of the reason most traders lose money is they don't have risk versus reward setups. When trading stock, I always say for a beginner trader, always have a stop loss in place. Okay? Everything in trading is probability and math. Okay? It's just, that's all it is. There's a reason that when you go to Las Vegas and the, uh, when you play craps, the house has seven. Why? The seven probability shows up more than any other number. Simple and easy. So trading, guys, is just math and probability. Okay? If it breaks to the upside here, that is a setup. Okay? Does it mean it's going to work? No, nothing that was ever going to work forever. But this is a trade setup. So let's say I took this trade here in Cree. Okay? I bought Cree right here. Well, number one, where would my stop loss be? Because I, don't, I always want to know how much I can lose. And also, where would my targets be? And so I've shown you guys one of our setups. This is my favorite setup, which is the breakout. Okay? So the breakout out of the cloud on the daily chart. So we see here, okay, we see Cree broke the cloud to the upside at 26, 26. This is my stop losses. I mean, these are my targets, and I'll show you my stop losses. Okay? So my targets are based on my stop losses okay difference between good traders and great traders good traders think about how much money they can make i am not a good trader i'm a great trader i say if i'm wrong how much money can i lose so the first thing i need to figure out is my stop loss i get my exits based on my stop loss so i want to figure out my stop loss first and then i want to figure out my exits so Cree broke to the upside here, and I'm going to go over all these. As we see, this would have been my stop loss, so I would have bought side. This is a trade I actually did. This would have been my stop loss here. We'll talk about how that's calculated. And then I, would, I like to use four targets, okay? And I would have hit all four targets. And I actually happened to pull back on my fourth target, and we'll talk about that one here as well. So I bought Cree at 26.28. Okay. Number one thing I do is set my stop loss. Okay. If you guys trade options, you buy an option for a buck, before you have exits, you need to figure out how much money you're willing to lose. Okay. It could be a percentage of your total book or a dollar amount. Okay. If you buy 20 calls for a dollar, okay, that's $2,000. Those calls should never, ever, ever be held till they go to zero. Okay. We talk about it for a beginner in the option market using a 20% stop loss. Intermediate, 50% stop loss. I'm an expert trader. I don't use stop losses. I trade more on feel. Okay? Who is a beginner trader? I consider a beginner trader anybody who's been trading for less than six months or anybody that's not proven they've been able to make money. Okay? Intermediate trader, someone you know, who's making money but still can make more money. Maybe they're paying enough to pay rent and their bills. So they're not making enough money where they can go out and buy a BMW or buy like a nice house overlooking the Bay and Ocean. Okay. So with stocks, I created a trading plan for you guys. Okay. I don't use stops because I feel like I get a good enough feel for the market that I don't want to use stops. But I've been trading professionally for 14 years every single day. So I've roughly been trading for about 3,500 trading days. So I've been doing it for a very long time. So we see here stop losses in stock, okay? If I bought Cree on the breakout of the cloud to the upside, okay, where would my stop loss be? 
and that my stop loss would be one dollar under the cloud. So broke the cloud to the upside. Okay, I'm a break. <clears throat> I'm a breakout trader. I want to buy that signal. My stop loss. So before I can do any targets, I need to figure out my stop loss would be dollar under the cloud. So my stop loss would have been twenty four twenty five. My targets would be twenty five percent of my stop loss, fifty percent of my stop loss. 75% of the stop loss and 100% of the stop loss. Okay? So those would have been all my stop losses and my targets. Okay? So you got to figure out your stop loss first and you can look at it as a dollar amount or percentage of my book. So I look and I say, hey, I have a $2 stop loss. If I'm wrong, how much money do I want to lose? If I am willing to risk $500, well, then I should have a stop loss. I should be taking 250 shares. I'm willing to lose $5,000. I can take more shares, 2,500 shares. Okay? Stop losses, it's going to be above the cloud. And this is what we're going to teach you in the course. Okay, so we're going to have some time to go over some stuff. But we have a great offer today that I want to show you guys. And we're going to be giving away $1,000 worth of courses here in a second, too. Because I'm going to do, uh, let me put this in here. Okay. So we have a course on the Ichimoku Cloud, okay? So today I kind of give you an introduction of the cloud. I shared one approach with you, which is a breakout trader in Cree. Thank you, Peter. And we have a course, and I, didn't even, I don't even know who Peter is. Uh, we have a thing that's the world's best technical indicator, okay? It is eight hours of content. So this includes our best-selling Ichimoku Cloud workshop and it's eight hours of content, okay? It's a $499 value. If you go on our website, you can purchase it on the website for $499. <clears throat> what we're also throwing in today, because I haven't presented in Fossil's Crowd in a very long time, and you guys are always great, you ask a lot of really good questions, and we're gonna go over some charts here, is we're gonna throw in one month of our gold mem membership, okay? What the gold membership includes is both of our best-selling eBooks, access to hundreds of hours of member-only videos. We put every kind of different video on there you could possibly imagine. Weekly, live, private group mentoring, and you will get every single trade that I make via text and email, okay? We only have 35 spots available for you guys, and we are offering it today for only $99, okay? So what you get is an eight-hour workshop of the Ichimoku Cloud, which is a $499 value, plus you'll get one month of our gold membership. You'll get all the trades via text and email with the, within 60 seconds of execution that I put on with my own trading account, plus hundreds of hours of, of member access. It is a $669 value. We're offering it for 99 bucks. Okay, a couple things I'll say about this, and we'll look at some charts here because we got about nine and a half minutes left. Number one, 100% money back guarantee. If you're not happy within the first week, so I'll give you guys till next Friday, I'll give you your money back. If you guys are not learning and you're not getting, you know, trades that you don't like, then I don't want your money. Okay, so number one, five day money back guarantee. We usually never do that on uh, the gold membership but 100% money back guarantee. Number two, we have 35 spots available. My IT guy is sitting around. After we sell 35 units, then we are going to uh, take the offer down. So that's all we have, 35 uh, spots available. Number three, I'm predicting we're gonna sell out because there's almost 400 people in here. And number four, this is the best course we have. If you actually just go to our website, I'll show you it real quick. <clears throat> so what you guys get is you guys get the gold membership, which is a $169 value. We're gonna have a couple minutes to look at charts, so get your charts all dialed in. So we're guys are giving you the gold membership, that's a $169 value, plus the Ichimoku course right here, it's a $497 value. You'll get it for perpetuity. So you guys get that for life, okay? So make sure you guys sign up, and then we're gonna do something called lightning round. What you guys gotta do, we got about uh, eight and a half minutes, just fire any stock, future or forex, and then I'm going to break down every single trade setup, and I'm going to go through them very, very fast. Kramer does this called Lightning Round. I've kind of stolen his mojo. All right, let's go through here. Nike. Let me see Nike. 
I, I almost, I used to count how many stocks I could do in a short period of time. So Nike, I think is a buy here. Nike is a buy at uh, basically 132.33. I put my stop under 126.5. Nike is a buy with the stop 126.5. CRUS actually got long that one. Oh, stock's on fire. I think CRUS is a buy in any pullback here. Buy the red, red, red line uh, with the stop under the blue line. See, I always get this thing, this thing always messes up. So I'd buy CRUS with a stop. So I could buy CRUS and a pullback at 31.78, stop under 27. It is a buy. HCKT, never heard of that one. Uh, 60, 1864, uh, I think it's a buy here. I could buy it right now at 1862. I would have an extremely large stock. It was probably a biotech and pharmaceutical. Stop would be under $13. Valero uh, just had that top. I was actually in Valero March 65 calls. That worked out really well. It was a pullback trade here. An aggressive pullback trader could be buying it right here. A moderate pullback trader would be waiting for the green. Uh, stop under the green if I bought the red. Stop under the cloud if I bought the green. Nugget is uh, the triple in GLD. Uh, Nugget is in the cloud here. It's actually below the cloud. I think G Nugget is a short here at 30.72, 31.42. You'd have to have a pretty big stop, about $14 stop. Alcoa. Uh, Alcoa. Made a low at about seven bucks. Actually been doing pretty well lately. Under the cloud here, I think the short was right here at Alcoa breakout to the downside at 9.30. I think Alcoa goes lower. SLW, <clears throat> Silver Wheaton, uh, Silver stocks have been beaten bound uh, in the cloud here. If it breaks the cloud to the upside, things it's okay to the long side. I wouldn't want to get it just yet. I'd wait for one more bull bar. ATV, uh, Acorn up, ooh, $8. <laughs> ATV, that's a tough one. I'd rather buy it than short it. Buy it here. I mean, your stock stops under 50 cents. That is risky. SWKS is a buy in any pullback here. We actually had a breakout trade in SWKS. If you were a breakout trader, you could have bought SWKS at 83. You'd be in it the whole way. Um, another breakout set up here. SWKS goes higher. Las Vegas Sands and the casino names, those are looking bad. I would not look to get along any casino names. I could short Las Vegas Sands at 43.69. My stop would be above 47. It's only a short. ISRG, uh, breaking the cloud of the upside. They do the Da Vinci. As a breakout trader, you could have bought the breakout here, guys, um, at about 490. That would have worked out well here. And you guys will learn how to do this in the course, okay? You will learn how to, so you guys can go these setups, like literally so easy, is I take through, the, through an eight-hour course. Uh, GMCR, uh, neutral here. I wouldn't want to take it. This is a very thinly traded cloud. Thinly trials are more traps. BZ, Verizon, uh, a break in the clouds to the upside. It's a breakout setup here in Verizon. Stop would be under 42.40. I think Verizon goes higher. Um, RPRX, uh, this is only a short here, uh, $1.58. I wouldn't look to be shorter here, but I'd be looking to short it at around probably 305 with a stop above $6. These biotechs and pharmaceutical names, guys, they're going to have huge, massive stop losses, um, huge stops, which means you're going to be risking a lot more money. FRO, breaking the cloud to the upside, 310, I think it's a buy, stop at 265. We use those 25, 50, 75% stop losses. So it looks like I only have a couple minutes here left. I still have four and a half minutes on my clock. But let me just go over this. Kafas, if you can give me, let me go like two minutes over, that'd be great, because I have four minutes. Um, so what we're offering you guys today is the world's best technical indicator. Um, it is an eight-hour course, uh, so that's a $499 value. You will learn how to trade the Ichimoku Cloud for an aggressive pullback trader, a moderate pullback trader, for a breakout trader, or a counter trend trader. We'll also teach you how to trade at every single product, Forex, futures, stocks, options, day trading, and swing trading. It is the most popular course we have. We're also throwing in one, one month of the gold membership. You get both eBooks, uh, all my trades via text and email. It's a $669 value. We're offering it to you guys for $99. Bucks. The link is alphashark.com forward slash my best trade. I think we only have about seven spots left, so make sure you guys get in. Alphashark.com forward slash my best deal. Four things I'll say, and then I'm going to pass it over to the next presenter. I probably went on like two minutes over. Number one, 100% money back guarantee. So you have five days. There's no reason for you guys not to buy the course. Because if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. I do not want your money if you guys do not like the course. So I'll give you a five-day money-back guarantee. Number two, you will get all my trades sent to your text or email within 60 seconds of the trades being executed. Number three, the course is on demand for perpetuity. So if you buy it, you get it for the lifetime. And number four, 
I really, really enjoyed presenting today. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you learned a lot. Um, make sure you guys take advantage of it. 100% money back guarantee. Everybody should sign up. We don't have many spots left, so make sure you guys get in. Thank you.